it's a bit blustery. <laughs> uh, what day is it? Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? Might be. Um, didn't do a video at the weekend because I was with my daddy. So we've come up to see what the damage is and there's quite a bit. Right, well the fence is up, that's a good start. Nothing over there. Uh oh. P frames down. Well, the netting's still on. That's good. This frame is up, and these are all beans that we planted the other day seem to be okay. Tomatoes. We've got one snapped. That one's okay. All the others are okay, they're just falling over. So we'll take those home. Stand all this up. Oh gosh. Well, there's my lettuces. I'm showing you them now. They're growing okay, aren't they? So I'm gonna wait for all. Can you um, fold this back? Let's lift up these cucumbers. Looking a bit dirty. It was pegged down. Obviously means nothing. The ground's so soft now. Pardon? Yeah, fold it down. Um, well, maybe lay, move that one out of the way so if this falls down again, it's not going to thingy. The bead frame is wonky, but it's not the end of the world. We'll fix that when the wind has stopped. Um, we'll just reattach it all. Now, the beans have survived. <laughs> Go on then. Go on then. This back up here. Oh, right. I'm gonna. I'll, me and Al are gonna have a quick go at that. But as you can see, I planted all the bolotto beans down the inside. These are pea beans. Everything seems to be doing okay. We've only lost one tomato. Oh. There's parsnips in the middle here. Can you see them? Needs weeding around it. Um, I think it's safe to say we've lost the dwarf French beans. Can you see the sticks? Yeah, I think something's had a quite a nice meal on them. The aduki beans across the back are looking okay. Um, squashes, these are butternut. That's been dug up by the looks of it. Butternut squashes. Crown prints with lots of strawberries and we're going to harvest some of them. I'm going to go put the camera away because it's really raining again. Roost tomatoes survived there. Quick, 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 quick. So there is the allotment today and we did um, loads of clearing on this side, loads and loads of weeding. I'm just going to get in the shed quick. <laughs> right, I'll see you soon. Right, before we go, because the sun is shining, the sky is currently blue, um, I'm just going to give you a little whistle stop tour of what we've done because we did a lot up here last two weekends. Um, I've just got a little harvest of strawberries. A lot of them have been eaten by the slugs in the days, but we haven't been able to get here. Um, next year we are going to put all of our strawberry plants raised up in some way. So, Okay, so we'll go down this well here flower bed all the dailies are in everything's doing really nicely i've got loads of zinnias and lobelia all that to go in here and we've got amaranthus and serenthine monada there's a couple of sunflowers in there too it's looking okay um pumpkin is doing really well seems to love it in there this area which was for the um comfrey as you can see it has gone a bit haywire and to be honest we don't really need one comfrey plant so I think we'll keep this one, take out those two there and then we can have this as either a compost area or we can have it as a mud kitchen, something like that because it's a massive waste of space for what we need. So um, cherry tree is looking lovely, lots of cherries on here. I'm not going to cover it. <laughs> you may think I'm mad, but I'm not going to cover it. 
Actually, there's about half the cherry sauce on there the other day. Maybe I'll cover it. We'll see. <laughs> this bit we have been weeding. It's been going really well. And we've been working in between all the raspberries too. And the potatoes in pots are doing okay. Uh, they're, most, they're all main crops, so they're not going to need to come out for a good while yet. All the potatoes, this is the last potatoes to come through in this row. I'm not worried about them, they'll do it in their own time, and if they don't, we've got plenty of others. Um, which are all doing fine, lots in flower. Come up sporadically, but the ground was so hard in places, I'm not surprised. Um, we have runner beans down here, down the edge of here. Now I've actually sown some extra runner beans at home because I'm a little scared of um, them being eaten by slugs. So just in case, I've sown some extra ones at home. You okay? Uh, yes, as you can see, we weeded all this now and we're working our way back through the raspberries. I might take a couple of these rhubarb home actually. So they're still going strong, still doing really nice. Um, I'll take you across here. Flower bed and herbs looking okay. Um, these are... Oh, there's some flowers. I thought I'd staked them. I'd staked them but not tied them in, which is pretty useless. <laughs> so there's some flowers. Beetroot all look really, really nice, really healthy. And the runner beans are, um, the pea beans are getting munched. But yeah, what can I do? I'm not putting slug pellets down, that's for sure. Um, broad beans are getting battered and falling over, but we do have lots of pods on here forming that are a nice size. So I'm pleased with those. Um, we've got French beans around the outside, Bellotto beans on the inside. We're taking that frame down in case it falls, this one falls onto that again and causes a domino effect. So that's roughly fixed. So as I said, parsnips in there. There's two cucumbers here, one at the front, one at the side. Lettuce in between. The peas, as I was saying, peas, um, I've never had such bad luck with peas from really bad germination due to Jack's Magic Compost to um, them being flea, beet flea beetle eaten, um, all sorts. Um, I've got more on the go now and I've got, I've actually got a little crop at home but up here it's just been awful, pardon me. Um, dwarf French beans uh, are pretty much done, I'd say. <laughs> They've been in since Sunday. And um, that's what they look like now. Good job, slugs or birds or whatever you are. The aduki beans at the back though were obviously nowhere near as tasty because they seem to be doing fine. Interesting. As I said, two butternut squash, uh, four crown prints. Um, some of those strawberries aren't ready yet so I'm just going to leave them. Sweet corn, and these have been in two weeks, no, a week, a week and a half. They've really, really taken off. I'd say they've doubled in size, and those were the bigger ones, and these were the newer ones, and there's not really much size difference. Um, got loads of rockets there, and radishes. Um, there's some fennel just coming up. You can just about see them coming up down there. And then we've got some turnips. And then iceberg lettuces at the back. Right. So it's those. Beep, beep. Excuse me. Still haven't taken the onions out. Is that the snapped tomato? There's still one left. I still haven't taken these out, but some of them look like they're having a second wind. They're producing more straight stems, so I don't know. Do I leave them? Let them get on with it? I might pull one up and see what kind of shape it's in. Let's have a look at this one. And I know you're not supposed to pull, but the ground is so wet. It probably will just come up. Um, 
underneath well this is quite the outer bit is very squishy and I don't think they're going to be much good for anything are they no I think we'll have to take all those out um, this Godfrey garlic's gone to seed but that's okay I'm going to leave it I'm not going to take the scape off it so I can get seed to grow it this bed is technically empty but with a few weeds potatoes coming up and we've got marigolds in over there the brassicas are looking beautiful um, I'm really really pleased with these as I said this is the one thing that I've never really grown at all and they seem to be doing really well now as I've always said I don't cover my kale because the cabbage whites don't eat it but I am pretty much thinking that considering everything under cover is fine but the slugs can still get in there and everything not under cover has been stripped I'm thinking the pigeons are being a pain in the arse there's nothing I can do about it um, unless I can find another one of these to put over the rest of my scarlet kale I'm really precious on the rest is neither here nor there um, I'm going to have a look around actually see what I can cover them with hopefully I've got something um, well everything else is doing really nicely and this scarlet kale is beautiful I'd like to save that um, and down there we've got some pumpkins planted and we still need to tackle the weeds in that area and we've got lots of strawberries apples, cherries, everything like that going on so uh, it's coming along it's looking okay I'm really pleased that the mesh is still on no traumatic damage this time okay so that's it from me from short whistle stop tour I'm just going to pull some rhubarb and um, when harvesting rhubarb get it at the base and just give it a little twist it'll come out like that so bye bye see you later hi guys a uh, quick update which have been up the plot but I didn't film anything because we're basically um, just dropping off some bricks that we got off recycled for pathways and all that but I wanted to show you something look this is our first raspberry harvest we've been having a few strawberries as we go but the first raspberry harvest from one tiny little scraggy bush came at the top um and we've got about 60 more bush cane things to go and this was just like the third of what was on there um, so we have come home and we are going to have smoothies now and I come home to find the seed fairy bean it's a lovely lady that I've met off Recycle and we trade plants and things and she sent me some cress rocket um, courgette beetroot radish Tomatoes. They'll be handy, especially the radish. Never have enough radish. Um, in here, I've been growing some baby salad crops, and this is catnip, uh, which is dried for the cats. Um, I've been drying our oregano and all that, and we had it on pizza last night. It was delicious. And also, quickly, um, before we go, beans and that are looking okay at home. Not fantastic, but the leeks are still in their pot. They still haven't gone out and pulled things. But um, our Aaron Pilot potatoes falling down, the leaves going yellow. Got two pots, one there, one there. So later on today, hopefully, there'll be our first potato reveal. Look at that beauty. It's not going to focus, is it? We know what this is like with this camera. Anyway, beautiful ladybird. So there you go. Um, lots to do in this garden still, lots and lots, but I have done the front garden, the front garden looks lovely, I'm not going to show you it now because there's people around. I've potted on loads of my zinnias, um, these, are they zinnias too? I think they're zinnias too, yeah they're all zinnias, some more, um, this is calabrese, the um, normal broccoli and these are Tithonia and purple sprouting broccoli and some more scarlet kale because you can never have enough kale and these are my bells of Ireland that need sorting out uh, lots of squashes here that are for 
given away to people because I've got plenty now. Um, and I've some second sowings of beetroot. These are gumbero beans. No one's popping up there. Push it back down. Um, which I just found in my drawer. I can't remember buying them, but they're a yellow waxy bean apparently. And parsley, this needs watering. Um, and then bits and bobs. The little lilabelia is pricked out finally. These are uh, soybeans and these are second sermons of runner beans, um, bolotto, cobra and dwarf French beans. So there you go. That'll be it for here. And um, we're going to go with the plot in a bit, collect some more uh, bricks and then go with the plot. And um, for now, I'm going to go and have a smoothie. Leave our fruit. Yum yum. See you soon. Right. It is still Saturday. Somehow. I don't know how. <laughs> but um, I am weeding. And I'm sitting down to weed. And it is the most unproductive way of doing it I've found. Because I pulled a muscle in my leg. And it's like at the top. And I can hardly walk. But it, I will not be defeated. I'm trying to rediscover this strawberry patch on the new plot. Take this bed back. This and see if the sun's not too bright. There's lots of foxgloves. Um, where the white thing is there, that's a barrier. So that's our plot is this way up to the path here, which is 15 foot. Um, so we've got the wildlife area, and there's the pond is down there, and there is all the flowers, there's some lupins over there, and there's raspberries at the back. Hey, Rue. Um, <laughs> careful, please. Um, so what we want to do with this area is Maybe make a raised strawberry bed area here or somewhere up the top because this looks um, this looks really do like the strawberries. But um, we're going to turn this into a wildlife area, but it's going to be a herb patch. So um, I'm drying a lot of herbs now, aren't I? Yeah. To put on our pizzas and things. So how is yes. This? Hang on, I'm talking one minute. Um, so what I'm going to do is have lots and lots of herbs, so loads of oregano and thyme, rosemary. Uh, you can do it all in a moment. Um, and all those kind of things and sage and everything and I'll have them here with the primary thing of obviously letting them go to flower and then the bees can love them and I'm going to put bigger ponding because that one's just a little tub um, so it'll be a bit more outwards um, so there'll be lots and lots of herbs in here for us to crop so it's not just a wildlife area it is actually a cropping area but there'll be all the flowers intermingled with it so that the bees love it and bird tables and bug houses bug houses <laughs> Hang on one minute, please. And that's the plot. I thought I hurt my leg and I thought I can get on and do things, and I decided to do the push mower for the top half of the um, path from the shed down to the bottom of the arch. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That really hurt. <laughs> but now I can't walk. Um, the brassicas are looking fantastic. Rue is going to take you to show you the brassicas. Can you show everything Look. in the green tunnel? What's green tunnel? The green tunnel's there. What? Go and show. Right. Yeah. Rue is going to do a little tour now. Yes? Yeah. Yay for Rue's tours. I don't want to do go. a tour. I want to um, show them my animals and stuff. Okay, but can you show them the sprouts and that on the way? Yeah. In the tunnel here. Show things on the way. Okay. Okay. Duh. 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 <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do the tour, I'm going to put this on, here we go. I'm going to go up here, it's a little creature. I'm going to now. Let's go through it. I'm going to show them my squash bed. Squash bed? I'm going to squash this there, it's all by this one poor thing. I always say poor thing every time. It's in my area. This is really stuck here. He always gets stuck. See? I'm only five years old anyways. I can't do it. So this is my animal rescue. There's my um little um I think moth or something. Like that. And here's my bee what was in the water. Poor thing. And yeah, I covered it all in mud because I'm a white. 
gross. Okay. Oh, oh, that's a, that's an animal. That's an animal. Get it, get it. Yeah. Hey. You, you, you. Yeah, you. You, you. Stop. So yeah. Um, my animals are pretty good from all this, and um, I don't have pretty much to say. With my plants here, well, they're growing good. I always keep them over here because I don't want to lose them. I used to do like all these. Really hard to get out. Disgusting. You fall out of there. <laughs> I can't go on a swing. I can't. I'm gonna show you in the shed. This is a quick sh show of the shed. You don't have pretty much good of the shed. I'll show you the top of the shed. Normally we keep everything in the shed. This mommy's bag. She's not mommy's bag. Oh, there's that. And then there's a whole white right here. But a uh, red ant's nest. And here my shoe hips. And you see, I've got little foxes on. You can't see. There we go. That's better. Same on the other side. Teddy, tell them what you're doing. Reading. And what else are you going to do next? Well, the water tank, can you do that more? Daddy, after that, can you do the water tank? Get some water in there. That's not good. I'm okay. I don't want to drop the camera. Be careful. Um. Oh. oh, sorry for that. Yep. Sorry for that. Sorry for that up there. It might have gone a little bit blurry down. <laughs> Here are the sequels on. And all the radishes, I don't know what they're called. Onions over there, I'll show you it in there. And it was, might be not here today. That would be great if he was not here. Um, if we get up here, see the whole thing. There you go. That's the neighbour. And that's on the bottom. It's a it's got a little toilet over there. We have a toilet in our garbage. Ah! Not garbage. Um, <laughs> shed. That keys. He's only got one shed. We got two sheds. <sighs> I'm not actually noticed. There's wood chips here. Wood chips. Oh no. Has you died? Oh, that's sad. You just have an old fur over there. I just showed you it um, in a picture one time. And I'll show you it in a minute. <laughs> but. Hi guys, I've got virtually no space left on this camera so I'm going to talk quite fast. I um, just want to say thank you for watching today. Um, I don't know what Rue's tour involved yet. I'm going to watch it when I get home. <laughs> um, I'm actually feeling really excited about this patch now. I've got up to the rubber matting that goes around the pond. So it's not a huge bit, but at least it's something done. It's better than going home and being grumpy because I'm in pain. Um, I've got loads of herbs at home. So I've got loads of cat mint and lemon, um, uh, lemon thyme, lemon balm, lemon verbena sorry not lemon balm although there is plenty of that on the block anyway um, and some tubs of rosemary and all stuff like that 
So I'm really looking forward to getting these planted up. I need to buy lots and lots of oregano, parsley. I'm growing loads of parsley. Um, I make some nice raised berries. We picked up loads of bricks today. These are some and there's massive piles there as well. And we've been given um, like 15 metres of chain link fencing, which will hopefully do the majority of the division between our plot at the new plot and next door. Um, and then this needs sorting out. Still not put my tomatoes in. The smaller of the two brassica cages is, um, the brassicas are too big for it already. I wish I could get up and show you, but I can't. Um, these metal things are down because um, the pigeons were stripping these. As you see, probably see, there's a couple on the end down there. Can you see? Um, that have been pigeoned. Um, but that's okay, they were spares anyway. And I've got plenty more at home in case anything else happens. So, yeah. And there, hang on, I'm going to try and turn around. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Right. So, in here. That's as close as we're getting to the brassicas today because I don't think we shared them to you. Um, they're looking big and tasty and I can't wait. I started off some more broccoli in that at home. I think I filmed it earlier. Um, so yeah, there you go. Looking forward to harvesting the rest of the raspberries and everything from this plot. I'm not going to net them because we've got so, so many bushes. We've got over a hundred canes and that of raspberries and probably the same again of currants. Um, there's plenty to go around, plenty to share for the birds and the mice and us. Um, so I'm going to carry on and do some more weeding. Um, and I was bagging up all my rubbish for me. And then we're going to go home and I'm probably going to sit on the sofa and drink gin. Did you know that? No. Nope. I don't think he agrees with it. I would never mind. <laughs> so, ow. Okay. When I've been weeding here, I've been leaving things like the forget-me-nots, foxgloves, poppies. Um, obviously, I've not got over there yet. There are random beans growing. We found several more potatoes. Um, it's the, <laughs> I love finding things on new plots. You never know what you're going to find underneath all the weeds.